disappointing spring for the high school class of 2020, but for one local team, just getting this far is reason to celebrate. Larry Prout was born with some severe medical challenges and some doctors weren't sure he'd make it to high school, let alone complete it. Well, now he's officially a graduate of Pinckney High. Kim DiGiulio got a chance to meet uh, the guy who keeps beating the odds and his remarkable mom and dad. Larry Prout's mom always told him strength comes in all different packages. Uh, they didn't think I was going to make it before or after birth, and now I'm here. For Larry, his strength comes from inside his four foot six frame. It comes from his heart. So I keep going. I I still keep going, don't never give up, never give up. Born with multiple medical conditions, nothing has ever come easy for Larry. At the age of 19, he's already had more than 100 surgeries. When Larry was born, you would kind of try to see the future and we were like five years, you know, hopefully we'll have five years and then we'll have 10 years. Larry's just beat all the odds. Growing up, Larry watched all five of his older siblings graduate. This year was his turn. For him, it was like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this is what he, the only thing he really wanted. He was just months away from graduation when COVID-19 closed down the schools. I was really worried about that because didn't know how we were going to do it. I was really hoping to graduate and wear my, wear my cap and gown. We'd watch the news and he'd look at the updates with COVID and what's yeah. going on in Michigan. And we'd discuss that and I'd catch him over on the couch going. Yeah. <laughs> Larry's prayers must have worked as Michigan began to reopen. Lawrence Jeffrey Prout, summa cum laude. Pinckney Community High School came up with a plan to give the seniors a commencement. I thought I would cry at Larry's graduation, but I couldn't stop smiling. And while Larry has accomplished this major milestone, he plans to continue to use his strength to keep defying the odds. Even though Larry won't be able to have the graduation party that he once envisioned, later this month they're going to have a drive-by celebration so all of his friends, family, and teachers can come by and congratulate Larry on a job well done. In Howell, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Oh, that's great, Kim. Larry plans to enroll, by the way, in community college, big car guy, and would like to one day work in the auto industry and graduating with honors, summa cum laude. Yes, Fantastic. There's so much to smile about yeah. with that story. That's great. We wish you all the best, Larry. You know it. Well,